So because I like this car so much, we're gonna start with the cons. Number one, no trunk space. Forget golf clubs, suitcases, groceries. The only thing that I was able to fit in this trunk was a very shallow plastic bin. So that's gonna cause some serious issues for anybody who has hopes of lugging anything around with them. You may be able to fit some stuff in the back seat here provided that you don't have any passengers with you. Um, but the trunk space is basically non-existent. You might as well not even have a trunk. Number two, you do feel every single bump on the road in this car. Now, part of that is the fact that this is, you know, a very sporty vehicle. It has a very stiff suspension. So you are going to feel a lot of the imperfections in the road. Unlike, let's say, if you're driving a five series, um, which is going to really glide, you know, down the road, this is going to be very different. It's going to be, um, you know, you're going to have a little bit of a harsher ride on bumpy roads. But, you know, the other thing with that is when you're twisting around turns, um, you know, you're really going to love the way that it feels. But still, we're on the cons right now. So, number three, the back seat is extremely cramped. I cannot comfortably sit behind myself in this car. To have four adults in this convertible, I feel like would be a little bit difficult. It would definitely be cramped. Number four is the wind when you have the top down. Now. Understandably, this is a convertible. Uh, you are gonna have wind, and if you put the windows up with the top down, while it does look goofy, uh, you are gonna block a lot of the wind, but it's not the same as if, let's say you're in a Porsche Carrera, which is like a 911, which is a four-seater. Um, there is a wind uh, reducer, basically, a, a, a you know an apparatus that goes over top of the back seats, that does block a lot of the wind. Now you can't have people in the back seat when uh, you have when you're using that, but um, you know it it causes you to not have any wind. You don't you know you don't hear it, feel it. I mean it's it's just it's awesome, um, and you don't have that in this car, and you don't have that in most convertibles. But um, again, you know it, it is a drawback. pros. Why should a responsible adult like you or me buy the BMW 430i convertible? Reason number one, Sport Plus. See, this car, like many BMWs, have different driving modes. This one has four driving modes. It has Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. And I'm telling you, the way this car behaves in Sport Plus is amazing. It is so fun, it sounds so good, and you completely forget the fact that you have a four cylinder under the hood of this car. It's unbelievable. I can only imagine how good the 440i with the twin turbo six cylinder is.
driving this in Sport Plus makes me feel like just maybe the four cylinder is actually enough. Like maybe you don't need the six cylinder. And I mean, the thing is you really don't. This performs just, it, it, it's so good. It, it really is. I mean, it impresses you every single time that you floor it. It, it, you know, just puts a smile on your face, just the sound and the fact that it just goes. I mean, it, it's it's an amazing drive in Sport Plus. Reason number two is the way that this four-cylinder sounds. And, I, you know, I think it's a combination of the engine itself, the muffler, because it sounds even better when the top is down. Um, th th this car just sounds very good. It is the best sounding four cylinder that I've ever driven. Reason number three, this is a hard top convertible. So you can actually drive it in the winter. There is no issue with, uh, you know, cold air or, or you know, whatever uh, the issue might be with having snow sit on top of a, you know, a, a, on a soft top. Um, you're not going to have that issue with this car because it is a hard top convertible. Reason number four, all wheel drive. So yes, you can drive this all year round in the Northeast. And why wouldn't you? Hard top, all wheel drive, sounds good to me. Reason number five, iDrive. The new iDrive system in all of the BMWs is truly amazing. It is so much better than the previous system, like what I have in my X5. It looks better, it functions better. I mean, it's it's quick, it's responsive. You have the touch screen capability if you want it. I don't care for it. I, I like the uh, you know scroll wheel, but you do have that. And the iDrive system comes with Apple CarPlay. Reason number six, the cabin in this car is so quiet when you have the top up. You don't even realize that it's a convertible. You could actually have somebody get in this car and not know that it's a convertible because it is quiet. There's no wind noise. You don't have you know a, a soft top flapping around or anything. I mean, it's completely insulated in here 100%, which is awesome. Reason number eight is the fuel economy that you get in this car. I drove this car for an entire day going 75 to 80 miles an hour down the highway and averaged over 32 miles per gallon. Now when I took it onto back roads uh, and put it in Sport Plus, I was still getting 29 miles per gallon, which is great. You know, I mean, if you really try to get good fuel economy and you and you put it in comfort uh, you can probably get you know 34 35 even I really think you can do it but the EPA rates this car at 22 in the city and 32 on the highway and that is very easily achievable so I was definitely pleased with the fuel economy for this four-cylinder you know turbocharged engine I, I always compare it to my Fusion, which yes, it's a much heavier car, but I mean, I struggle to get 28 miles per gallon on the highway in that car. So, you know, it's nice to see that you don't even have to try to actually hit the EPA rating in this car. And that's it. I think this car is a pretty good balance between practicality and uh, fun. You know, I think that you can do a lot with this car. You certainly can drive it year round. This can be your daily driver, um, you know, and I I love it. I mean, it is so much fun. I, you know, I'd be very curious to get my hands on a 440i, uh, you know, to see in terms of the performance difference, but this car is awesome. Other than some space constraints, I don't think you can go wrong in buying the 430i. That's my take on this convertible. I'm Rob. This is the test drive. Please like uh, and comment on this video below. Let me know what you think. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. That's also gonna get you an update every time I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram at the test drive NY. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.